Did you know that 79% of millionaires did not inherit a single penny from their family? And did you also know that 70% of billionaires are self-made? Lots of people seem to think that unless you are born rich, then there's no way that you'll be able to make millions unless you get lucky. At only 20 years old, I successfully built for myself a life of abundance where I can travel, have fun, enjoy life, all of that without having to worry about having massive student debts or working for a demanding boss. And I don't come from a wealthy background. This is why in this video, I want to share with you the six things that poor people do that rich people stay away from. While this is not a get-rich-quick scheme, if you implement the things that we are going to go over in this video, you drastically increase your chances of joining the top 0-1% and of living the life that you have always dreamed of. The first thing that poor people do and that rich people stay away from is using other people and external circumstances to justify why they don't have the things that they want to have in life. You see, when I finished high school, I had a choice. I could decide to go and to follow the traditional path to go to college, to get a good degree and then to get a good job with a stable income, or I could decide to bet on my Myself and to pursue my dreams. I chose to bet on myself. In my own opinion, the worst thing that can ever happen to you as a human is being on your deathbed, you're at the end of your life, and you know that you're gonna leave this world with a heart full of regrets. The reason why so many people struggle, it's not because they're not talented enough to succeed, or because they're not smart enough, or because they don't have the right circumstances. The reason why so many people struggle and never make it is because they let their fears and their doubts take control. I'm sure that you've heard the famous quote, you either suffer the pain of change or the pain of regret. Well, let me tell you, you definitely don't want to suffer the pain of regret. Imagine the following scenario. You're a young man in your early 20s and you're madly in love with a girl but you never muster up the courage to go and to ask her out. So while you shy away from a potential rejection because it would be a blow to your ego, another guy goes and asks her out and she says yes. She ends up falling in love with him and they enter a relationship. Years later they're still together and they got married and now they have a family while you still haven't gotten over that girl. But what if you had decided to go and to ask her out before the other guy did in spite of how you felt, in spite of your fear of rejection? Maybe that girl was the love of your life, the future mother of your future children, whether it's in business, in their personal health and fitness or in their relationships, a lot of people ditch the responsibility of taking care of their own problems. But if you give up control, then you can never win. That's the harsh reality. Poor people are always complaining that the system isn't fair or that taxes are too high or that it's the government's fault if they're not making as much money as they would like. And while I agree that governments don't want you to become particularly wealthy because then you become a threat to their power, your success or lack thereof is your decision and your decision only. Successful people don't blame anyone other than themselves for the lack of results in their life. The other thing that poor people do compared to rich people is that they do not set clearly defined goals. If you don't set clearly defined goals, then you have nothing tangible to work towards. Think about it if you want to travel to Italy, but you don't know where exactly in Italy. In order for Google Maps or for a GPS to show you an itinerary, it is still going to need to pick an exact location in Italy in order to take you there. If you say that you want to make more money or get in better shape or improve your relationships, those are not specific goals. Those are simply wishes. So unless you set clearly defined targets, then how will you even know if you're making progress and if you're getting closer? Closer to getting what you want. Now on the other hand, if you say I want to have 1 million US dollars after tax in my bank account before I turn 30, or I want to lose 20 pounds within the next 6 months, or I want to get a girlfriend by the end of the year, those are specific, actionable goals that you can measure and that also contain a deadline. Now another thing that poor people do and that their wealthy counterparts stay away from is hating and being jealous of successful people instead of learning from them. Tell me, what is your first instinctual reaction when you see a pretty expensive car in the street? Do you think that they're lucky? Do you feel a feeling of drowning jealousy? A company by bitterness? How does it make you feel to know that the average price for a Richard Mille timepiece is around $200,000? Does it make you feel uneasy, shocked, disgusted, outraged? Or does it make you think that if a watch can be sold for such a high price, then it means that literally anything is possible in this world? The relationship that you have with wealth, what you think about wealth and wealthy people, will determine whether or not you are going to be able to have access to that same abundance for yourself as well. Think about it. If you despise successful people internally and seeing expensive things makes you feel outraged, then how could you ever get access to that same lifestyle? Why one of the signs that you are going to become very successful and financially abundant is that you feel inspired by people who have achieved the sort of things that you would like to achieve for yourself. Now, something else that poor people do that the rich stay away from is constantly procrastinating and waiting for the perfect conditions in order to get started. When you're driving, do you wait for every single traffic light to switch from red to green? Of course not, because if you did, you would not even move an inch. Not to even mention the fact that everyone behind you would be really pissed. And while this might sound like a silly example, and by now you're probably thinking, well, of course, I would never do something that's stupid. This is exactly what you are doing when you keep finding reasons to procrastinate and to avoid doing the boring work that deep down you know you need to do in order to achieve your goals. The truth is that successful people are not necessarily more passionate about their work compared to average people. I know that this is what they sell you in the mainstream media because they want to sell you the idea that you can just do what you love all of the time and that you can just live off of your passion. But the reality is that successful people do the things that they know they need to do regardless of how they feel. And the other thing that you have to realize is that there will never be a perfect moment to 
start. You could wait for a thousand years trying to find the perfect circumstances or the perfect opportunity, but the only thing that's gonna happen is that your life will have flown you by. Get into the habit of taking imperfect action because that is one of the keys to success and any successful individual will agree on that. Another thing that poor people do compared to rich people is that they are too afraid to invest in themselves. The thing that you have to realize is that no one is coming to save you and if you're not going to invest in yourself, then no one will. Imagine if you went on Shark Tank and you tried to pitch a product that you clearly don't even believe in. What do you think the jury is going to say? If you really want to start making substantial progress in life, you have to realize that you need to learn to dissociate your actions from your emotions. I remember that when I first got started in business a couple years ago, I was terrified and a very successful businessman worth hundreds of millions of dollars told me this. He said that the successful people that I looked up to, the successful people that I wanted to be like, they didn't have less fear than me. They just had more courage and they were willing to do all of the things that I was not willing to do in order to succeed. And according to him, that was the reason why they were able to achieve so much and I wasn't. One thing I learned over the years is that most of the time, you're not going to feel like doing what you have to do. Most of the time, to give you an example, I don't feel particularly inspired or motivated to go and to do some exercise. It's only when I'm done with the warm-up and I'm in the flow of doing things that I start to enjoy my workout session. The same concept applies in every other aspect of life. Most people fail their New Year's resolutions because they expect that when they wake up the next morning, they will be a completely different person. This is simply not the case. Change is a gradual process and it doesn't happen overnight. If you're in your 20s or in your 30s, then I'm sure that you've heard at least one person say that, oh, you're young, you have time, so relax, enjoy, have fun. Don't work so hard. The only reason why they're telling you this is because they don't want to see you doing better than them. They want you to take it easy because they are taking it easy and it will kill their fragile ego to see you succeeding because the truth is they're failing. Poor people think that they can get started tomorrow or that it's okay because they can always do it later, right? But very rich and successful people know that their time is very precious and they also know that it's more precious than money. Think about it, you could make a billion dollars in one day, right? But could you live up to a billion years old? Not really. A lot of people use the excuse of time to justify why they're not successful. But the reality is that we all have the same 24 hours in a day. Successful people just know how to use their time more wisely than the rest. Congrats for making it this far in the video. Leave a comment down below. I reply to every single comment. If you're interested in making money online, then check out the other videos on the channel. And with that said, I will see you on the other side.